Hello everybody, welcome back to part 2. We are going to be talking about the terms which are usually used in poker that I feel you should be aware of. The first term that we are going to be talking about today is equity. You might have heard someone say, okay, my equity is this. What does it mean? Equity usually means the percentage or the rightful share of you basically winning that hand from that current position. Example, I have 40% equity in this hand on the flop. That means that there's a 40% chance that you will win this hand uh, on the, by the turn or the river. So this is what it means. The second term is RFI, also called raised first in. Just as the name suggests, what it means is basically the first person to bet into the pot. It is a substitute for open. Uh, so basically now you can understand what RFI means. The third term is outs. You must have heard everyone saying I have 20 outs, I have 10 outs here. What does it mean? Basically an out is an unseen card that you are waiting for which will help to make your hand stronger or complete your draw. Example, a flush draw completes. So example, you have two spades uh, and the board, the flop contains two spades. Now you only have nine outs to complete a, a flush by the turn or the river. So you have nine outs. That is how an outs are used to calculate equity. The fourth term is tighter, narrower, wider. What does this mean? So basically a tighter range or a tighter play usually begins in such a manner that you start playing only some hands or your monster hands. You are not playing very wide. You will not start playing Jack-7 suited, but you will probably play Ace-Jack suited, Ace-Queen suited. You are playing tighter. Uh, when you are playing wider, what you start doing is you start opening a wider range of hands. You will probably open 9-10 suited, 9-10 off as well, which usually you would not open when you are playing tight. So this depends on position, depends on how much your stack size is. If you're playing from say a button position, you will start opening wider. So you might open say a A7 suited as well, uh, putting pressure on small blind and big blind. But here, in some cases when you're playing early position, you will open tighter. So you will play your premium hands, you will play your top pocket pairs, etc. Backdoors. Let's talk about backdoors. Backdoors are basically those situations where you need a turn and a river card that completes your hand. Example, you have a backdoor flush draw. So you need a river as well as a turn card both to have of the same uh, suit, example spades, and then you complete a backdoor flush draw. So this is what backdoors are. Next, let's talk about range. A range is basically a group of collective hands or likely holdings that your opponent has. Example, if you're playing against the big blind, you would say that on his range, I'm going to put say 3-3 uh, three, three plus to say pocket sevens. Uh, in a calling range and you would say okay he would also be uh, defending say uh, ace 2 suited till 8 9 so ace 10 suited and then you would probably 3 bet the other hands so you're deciding what are the range of hands that you can put on a particular position so these are a few terms again which i think will help you in understanding better next time when you're seeing someone play poker and i hope it actually helps you in improving your play thank you